fifth grade. Today we are doing lesson 7.3, which is called Evaluate Expression. So we're still working with those expressions. We still have to keep our please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, those order of operations in mind. But we are actually going to be solving some of these today that involve a letter. So let's just jump right in. I think you'll catch on pretty quickly. Number one says M minus 4.7. And they want us to evaluate that for M equals 10. So we are going to pretend that M is a 10 and we're going to solve and see what our answer would be. So first I'm gonna start copying down the problem. When I see my letter, I'm going to replace it with the number. I'm gonna substitute this one in. So 10 and then copy down the rest of the problem, minus 4.7. All right, there's only one thing to do there, 10 minus 4.7, so I need to stack those up. 10 does not have a decimal. And remember, if it doesn't have a decimal, I would put it behind there and then minus 4.7. Be really careful on your subtraction. I need to take one, give one here. That would be a three, copy down my decimal. And let's see, that would be a five. So 5.3 would be my answer. Next, I'm gonna go on to number two. In number two, I have five divided by X and I'm evaluating that for X equals one third. So remember, I'm gonna start copying down what they gave me five and the division sign. And then when I get to the X, I'm going to plug in one third. When I plug that in, then I'm ready to go. That's the only one thing to do. Whenever I'm dividing by a fraction, I should be remembering three very important words. Same, flip, flip. So my five is going to stay the same. I'm going to flip my division to be multiplication. And I'm going to flip my one third to be three over one. Then remember, big number times the top, bottom stays the same. So five times three is 15. My bottom number would still be a one, which means that would be a big 15. All right, not too bad, let's keep on going. Number three, here is my expression, and I'm using D equals 3.5. So I'm gonna plug that in, but first I'm just gonna start copying. 7.5 times, and then when I get to D, instead of writing D, I'm gonna plug in my number, 3.5 minus 2.5 parentheses. All right, there's my problem. Now this one's a little bit longer. It has a couple of things going on, so I have to remember my order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally means I have to do my parentheses first. So 3.5 minus 2.5, that would give me 1.0. So that part is 1.0. And then remember, I copy down everything I haven't used yet. So I haven't used the 7.5 and I haven't used the time sign yet. All right, now we're ready to multiply. So I'm gonna stack those up. 7.5 times 1.0. Remember, if I have a zero in the back, I can just exit out and put an O and then I can go with my next number. So one times five is five. One times seven is seven. Count the numbers behind my decimal, one, two. So my decimal would go right here. 7.50 would be my answer. Okay, so really we're doing the same thing we were doing. We just have to push that um, letter out and replace it with the number that they give me, following my order of operations to make sure that I do everything in the right order. Alrighty, we're just gonna keep right on moving. Here's my expression. They want me to evaluate it for V equals three. So I'm gonna start copying it down. Make sure that you copy it down correctly. Go slow, don't wanna make silly mistakes. Remember my dot is time, so I'm gonna use the multiplication sign. And V is going to be a three, so I'm going to replace that. Then I'm thinking of my order of operations. Remember, this is the kind of tricky part. If I have divide and multiply in the same equation, I do whichever one comes first. So in this case, the division comes first, so that's what I'm going to do first. I need to do 54 divided by three first. I'm gonna have to work that out, and that's okay. I know how to do that, so that would be a one. When I subtract, I get a two. I would bring down the four, and then three into 24 would be eight. That is 24, so I got 18 for that. I'm gonna write down 18, and then remember, copy down anything that I haven't used yet. So I haven't used the times and I haven't used the three. All right, 18 times three is what I need to do to finish this one out. Eight times three is 24. 
and then three times one is three plus two more is five. So my final answer would be 54. Notice I'm circling my answers. That makes it a lot easier for me to be able to find your answer as I'm checking through your paper. So make sure you circle those today. Alrighty, number five, here's my expression. I'm solving it for t equals 17. So I'm gonna start copying. When I get to the t, substitute in that number, which is 17 this time, and then copy down the rest exactly like they gave it to me. All right, I have a couple things going on. So I'm thinking of my order of operations. I know parentheses always have to come first. So I'll first I need to do 17 plus 18. When I add that, I get a 35. So 35 for this part. Then I'm gonna copy down anything that I haven't done yet, which is divide and the five. So 35 divided by five, that's a multiplication fact. So I know that's a seven. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna do number six as well. This is the last one in our notes before you start on your assignment. This is a little bit trickier. They're giving us the information and we have to write one of these equations and then we'll solve it at the very, very end. So we have to read the information they give us and then make an equation out of that. So it says, Kim's cat weighs six pounds more than her rabbit. Her dog weighs three times as much as her cat. Let R be the weight of Kim's rabbit. So we don't know how much her rabbit weighs, we're just gonna use an R because that stands for rabbit. All right, let's see what it wants us to do. How much does her cat weigh? So I'm gonna go back and find the information about her cat. It says Kim's cat weighs six pounds more than her rabbit. Ooh, I saw the word more, that's probably going to be important. And it weighs more than her rabbit, and remember, rabbit is R. So I need to think, how would I figure out how much her cat weighs? Well, it weighs more than her rabbit. So I'm gonna take the R because that's the rabbit. And if it weighs more, I would add six pounds because the cat weighs six pounds more than the rabbit. So I would take the rabbit and I would add six more pounds and that would tell me how much the cat was. I can't solve it yet because I don't know what R is, but I'm not supposed to solve it. I'm just supposed to make a little equation, which is what we just did. All right, let's check letter B. How much does her dog weigh? So now I need to look. Her dog weighs three times as much as her cat. So I see the word times, that's probably going to be important. And her dog weighs three times as much as her cat. Well, we just said this is how we figure out the cat. So that's the cat. I probably better write that down because that's the cat right there. That's how much the cat weighs. Her dog weighs three times as much as that. So to figure that out, I would just times by three. Remember, I'm not gonna solve it yet because I can't. I just have to do the equation and then I'll be able to solve it if they tell me how much those things are. All right, letter C says, if Kim's rabbit weighs five pounds, how much do her cat and dog weigh? Okay, now I know R is gonna be five pounds because that's how much the rabbit is. So let's go back and figure out if the rabbit is five pounds and I add on six to there, that means her cat has to weigh 11 pounds. And then I'll go down and I can figure out her dog. So remember, R plus six, we just did that. So that was 11 inside my parentheses, and then I would times that by three. Well, 11 times three is gonna give me 33 pounds for her dog. So it's pretty simple to solve once you know what it means, but then I have to make the equations up here. There is going to be one like this on your assignment too, so use this number six as an example. It's number 11 on your homework assignment. I want you to use number six as an example, and that will help you get started from there. Down here at letter C, I'm just gonna summarize what I found. So I found that her cat equals 11 pounds and her dog equals 33 pounds. Now I have answered everything that they were asking me about her cat and her dog. So that is our lesson for today, pretty quick. Don't forget to think about your order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally as you are working. Go ahead and start on your assignment. Good luck, you've got it.